Hello everyone, welcome back to Nigerian View. So guys, there is a huge wall in a state, College of Education, right there in Benin City. And the videos and the pictures that I got, it was just overwhelming. You see, I was told that this College of Education, it's located in some kind of a village in Benin City. It is difficult for the police to go to the village. So what actually happens here is that this young man, as you can see in this video, they are very free to walk around with tools because there is no police. You see, I was actually thinking, correct me in the comment section if I'm wrong about this, please. If you have a higher institution in a village, you have to put a police station there. When you think about a higher institution in a village, it is expected that you should also put a police station in that village because youths are very, very stubborn. So I was told that because it is in the village, the police can't just go to the village. Now, let's say there is a police station in the village. What are the police in Benin City doing? What is their job? At least when this happens here in Lagos, the police actually make a move. I was told that this has been happening for more than one month and the pictures and the videos that are sent to me, people are on the ground like you just flit a room full of cockroaches. You see, the people with, the people on the ground will just too much. I can post it on YouTube because it violates the YouTube terms and conditions. And a quick advice for the youths, youths of Edo State, uh, youths of Ikorudu, Ogun State, uh, Delta State, the Nigerian youths in general. Do you know that this fraternity of a thing, it's very deceiving. So let me tell you what I thought about how deceiving it is. The person in your rival court group can actually be your destiny helper. And then, just because you belong to a confraternity, you go bring your destiny helper down. Then you might die and suffer. If the person in your rival court group is actually the person that is destined to bring light into your community, to bring success into your environment, but then you bring him down because we are ignorant and we really don't know about it. And secondly, I really just want to point this out. The government is happy that the youths are fighting against each other. I'll tell you why, you see. If the young men actually put this energy that they are used in fighting each other into fighting the government, Nigeria would be one of the best countries in the world in less than five years. We have the resources. You remember when we did the NSAS protest? The government was shocked. They must have been asking each other, why aren't the youth fighting each other? The government decided to pay some hungry youths and they started fighting with other youths. This is when we started saying they are hoodlums. So please, guys, stop fighting. Stop the killing. You see in Edo State, people lying on the ground like you just flitted a room full of cockroaches. There were too many people on the ground. I really am not happy about it. I remember your boy, Nigerian View. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.